Hello dear students, in this INR 8, we are going to discuss about sporotrichosis, another very important PYQ which had been asked in every exam, right? So what is sporotrichosis? It is a fungal disorder, right? So remember sporotrichosis is a fungal disorder caused by sporothrix shenkai and these are a dimorphic fungus. Why they are called as dimorphic fungus? You can see the name itself is telling dimorphic means there are two types of morphology. So these fungus will be existing with two kind of morphology. One is hyphae with spores, number one. And number two morphological form will be cigar shaped budding yeast. So now you can see these are the branched hyphae with spores. So branched hyphae with spores, it will occur in the soil and remember temperature will be 25 degrees Celsius. So this is one form. Second form is cigar shaped budding yeast as you can see here, cigar shaped budding yeast cigar shaped budding yeast are there in this right so and this will be in the human body right so now you understood in our human body when you are thinking about sporotrichosis which form it will be it will be cigar shaped budding yeast so this will be present in our human body right this will be present in this soil right so these are the two important forms that is why these fungi are called as dimorphic fungus now how this will transmit disease because of the because of their location, these fungi usually lives on vegetations, right? So as you can see that this is how it will be present on the vegetations and when spores are traumatically introduced into the skin. See, the, the patient will be, uh, you know, gardener or he will be happy, uh, he will be having hobby of the gardening, right? He will be often going to the garden for cutting and plucking the flowers like this. As you can see, this person is plucking. So what will happen? traumatically introduced into the skin so this fungus will be traumatically introduced into the skin right that is why this is also called as rose gardener disease right so that is why they are called as rose gardener disease so there will be a minor skin trauma because of the thorn prick so simple thorn prick is there and that disease will be transmitted that is why it is called as rose gardener disease and what will happen because of this fungal infection which has entered into the skin, now they will be forming the local pustule or ulcer. These local pustule or ulcer, they will be forming nodules along with the draining lymphatics. So now you can see that that pustule and ulcer is forming nodule along the lymphatics which is called as ascending lymphangitis. Probably he would have pierce of the thorn piercing here and now the fungus is growing like this ascending lymphangitis is going on right so this is the lymphocutaneous sporotrichosis which we are seeing in this image and this image was the question given in exam also right so now you have understood this is the vegetation oriented uh, fungal infection because of the thorn prick so it is also called as rose gardener and they will be after the prick they will be involving the lymphatics Lymphatics will be showing you the nodules and that is why is it also called as ascending lymphangitis and for the diagnosis we are going to use the saboroid dextrose agar. So on saboroid dextrose agar you will see the culture and when you will see the culture again I am telling you at culture 25 degrees Celsius you can see this is the 25 degrees Celsius. So at the 25 degrees Celsius what we are seeing they are all looking cream colored. Now you can see they are all looking whitish cream colored. So initially they will be cream colored colony. So initially cream colored colony on saboroids dextrose agar and after few weeks approximately two to three weeks they will become brown black. They will become brown black because of melanized conidia right so that is very characteristic of this uh, sporothrix on seboroid dextrose agar initially they will be white in color and after some time they will become black in color right and when you will see their mounted specimen on the lactophenol cotton blue stain so we, we will see like this lactophenol cotton blue stain you are seeing single celled conidias are present at the tip of conidiophores so these are the conidiophores and single cell single cell conidia is present right so now you can see that sporothrix we can see here it is in lactophenol cotton blue specimen where floral arrangement of conidia is called as desi flower appearance remember desi flower appearance 
where single conidia, single cell conidia is present at the tip of single conidiophore. So you can see single conidia at the tip of conidiophore and this appearance, this floral arrangement is called as desi flower arrangement. So when we are going for a diagnosis uh, in mycology, so what we are going to do, Saborot, Zextros, Agor, in this initially it will be white, creamy colony and after some time they will become black and with lactophenol cotton blue staining they will be showing you desi flower arrangement as you can see here and on histopathological examination and in culture also you will find one one very characteristic finding that cigar shaped yeast will be visible remember as i said cigar shaped yeast which we are seeing on culture on culture as well as on histopathological examination, both places, it will be diagnostic of sporotrichosis, right? So now you can see sporotrichosis, that cigar-shaped yeast form of sporothrix is present here. So this is the culture and that will be confirming the diagnosis of sporothrix. This is the histopathological examination and on histopathological examination also cigar-shaped appearance will confirm the diagnosis. When you will see the histopathological examination, you will find one uh, you know important characteristic finding, not diagnostic, because it can be seen in the uh, sarcoidosis also. These are called as asteroid bodies. So what is asteroid bodies? Now you can see these are the neutrophilic abscess, right? So these are neutrophilic abscess. And in this, between the abscess, you can see there is a spore, right? So these are a spore of the fungus, right? So please remember what I'm showing you. These are the spore of the fungus. And along this spore, you can see that sporothrix is showing their filamentous spicules, right? So this sunray-like filamentous spicule is giving splendor hoplei phenomena right so these are splendor hoplei phenomena and this entire structure is looking like a asteroid right a star shape asteroid bodies right so now you understood on culture you will see the cigar shaped sporothrix in biopsy also you will see sporothrix in biopsy you will find one characteristic finding called as asteroid bodies spore will be in the center and spicule will be along with them looking like a star shape asteroid bodies which will be present in a sporotrichosis, right, a sporothrix. And what will be the treatment? Treatment in this case can be itraconazole or potassium iodide. Remember, potassium iodide is only for the cutaneous or lymphocutaneous form. And in these patient, as I have said, initially it is ascending lymphangitis, but if patient is immunocompromised like a AIDS or HIV, then it will be having dissemination to the other organ. So disseminated sporotrichosis, Whenever you are seeing disseminated sporotrichosis, you should consider patient is immunocompromised. Either he is a diabetic or he is suffering from the HIV AIDS. And treatment will be itraconazole or potassium iodide. So keep revising these high yielding topics. My best wishes for your exam.